Chapter 112 On the ascension after death of the good soul that hath received the mysteries. Jesus continued again in the discourse and said, If on the contrary it is a soul which hath not hearkened unto the counterfeiting spirit in all its works, but hath become good, and hath received the mysteries of the light, which are in the second space, or even those which are in the third space, which is within. When the time of the coming forth of that soul out of the body is completed, then the counterfeiting spirit followeth that soul, it and the destiny, and it followeth on the way in which it will go above. And before it removeth itself above, it uttereth the mystery of the undoing of the seals, and all the bonds of the counterfeiting spirit, with which the rulers have bound it to the soul. And when it is uttered, the bonds of the counterfeiting spirit undo themselves, and it ceaseth to come into that soul and release the soul according to the commandments which the rulers of the great fate have commanded it saying, Release not this soul until it tell thee the mystery of the undoing of all the seals with which we have bound thee to the soul. If then the soul shall have uttered the mystery of the undoing of the seals, and all the bonds of the counterfeiting spirit, and if it ceaseth to come into the soul, and ceaseth to be bound to it, then it uttereth in that moment a mystery, and releaseth the destiny to its region to the rulers who are on the way of the midst. And it uttereth the mystery, and releaseth the counterfeiting spirit to the rulers of the fate, to the region in which it was bound to it. And in that moment it becometh a great light stream, shining exceedingly, and the retributive receivers who have led it forth out of the body are afraid of the light of that soul, and fall on their faces. And in that moment that soul becometh a great light stream, it becometh entirely wings of light and penetrateth all the regions of the rulers, and all the orders of the light, until it reacheth the region of its kingdom up to which it has received mysteries. If, on the other hand, it is a soul which hath received mysteries in the first space which is without, and if after it hath received the mysteries it hath accomplished them, it then turneth and committeth sin after the accomplishing of the mysteries. And if the time of the coming forth of that soul is completed, then the retributive receivers come to lead that soul out of the body. And the destiny and the counterfeiting spirit follow that soul, because the counterfeiting spirit is bound to it with the seals and the bonds of the rulers. It followeth thus that soul which traveleth on the ways with the counterfeiting spirit. It uttereth the mystery of the undoing of all the bonds and all the seals with which the rulers have bound the counterfeiting spirit to the soul. And when the soul uttereth the mystery of the undoing of the seals, straightway the bonds of the seals which are bound in the counterfeiting spirit to the soul undo themselves. And when the soul uttereth the mystery of the undoing of the seals, straightway the counterfeiting spirit undoeth itself, and ceaseth to be a sign to the soul. And in that moment the soul uttereth a mystery, and restraineth the counterfeiting spirit, and the destiny and discharge them which follow it. But no one of them is in its power, but it is in their power. And in that moment the receivers of the soul come with the mysteries which it hath received, come and snatch that soul out of the hands of the retributive receivers, and the latter receivers go back to the works of the rulers for the purpose of the economy of the leading forth of the souls. And the receivers of that soul, on the other hand, who belong to the light, become wings of light for that soul, and become vestures of light. And they do not lead it into the chaos, because it is not lawful to lead it into the chaos souls which have received mysteries. But they lead it on the way of the rulers of the midst. And when it reaches the rulers of the midst, those rulers meet the soul, they being in great fear and violent fire, and with different faces, in a word, in great immeasurable fear. And in that moment the soul uttereth the mystery of their apology, and they are exceedingly afraid and fall on their faces, being in fear of the mystery which it hath uttered, and of their apology. And that soul surrendereth their destiny, saying unto them, Take your destiny, I come not to your regions from this moment onward, 
I have become a stranger unto you forever, being about to go unto the region of my inheritance. And when the soul shall have said this, the receivers of the light fly with it on high, and lead it into the eons of the fate, yet giving every region its apology and its seals, which I tell you at the expansion of the universe. And it giveth the counterfeiting spirit to the rulers, and telleth them the mystery of the bonds with which it is bound to it, and saith unto them, There have ye your counterfeiting spirit. I come not to your region from this moment onwards. I have become a stranger unto you forever. And it giveth every one his seal and his apology. And when the soul shall have said this, the receivers of the light fly with it on high, and lead it out of the eons of the fate, and lead it up into all the eons above, it giving to every region its apology, and the apology of all the regions and the seals to the tyrants of the king, the Adamas. And it giveth the apology of all the rulers of all the regions of the left, whose collective apologies and seals I will one day tell you when I shall tell you the expansion of the universe. And moreover, those receivers lead that soul to the Virgin of Light, and that soul giveth the Virgin of Light the seals and the glory of the songs of praise. And the Virgin of Light and also the seven other Virgins of the Light together prove that soul, and find together their signs in it, and their seals, and their baptisms, and their chrism. And the Virgin of Light sealeth that soul, and the receivers of the light baptize that soul, and give it the spiritual chrism. And every one of the virgins of the light seal it with their seals. And moreover, the receivers of the light hand it over to the great Sabawath, the good, who is at the gate of the life, in the region of those of the right, who is called Father. And that soul giveth him the glory of his songs of praise, and his seals, and his apologies. And Sabawath, the great and good, seal it with his seals. And the soul giveth its science in the glory of the songs of praise, and the seals to the whole region of those of the right. They all seal it with their seals. And Melchizedek, the great receiver of the light, who is in the region of those of the right, sealeth that soul, and all the receivers of Melchizedek seal that soul, and lead it into the treasury of light. And it giveth the glory, and the honor, and the laud, and the songs of praise, and all the seals of all the regions of the light. And all those of the region of the treasury of the light seal it with their seals, and it goeth unto the region of the inheritance. Chapter 113 When then the Saviour had said this unto his disciples, he said unto them, Understand ye in what manner I discourse with you. Mary interpreted from former sayings. And Mary again stepped forward and said, Yea, my Lord, I understand in what manner thou didst discourse with me, and I will comprehend them all thy words. Now therefore, concerning these words which thou sayest, my mind hath brought forward four thoughts in me, and my light man hath led me and exalted and seethed, desiring to come forth out of me and enter into thee. Now therefore, my Lord, hearken, that I may tell you the four thoughts which have arisen in me. The first thought hath arisen in me concerning the word which thou hast spoken. Now therefore, the soul giveth the apology and seal unto all rulers who are in the region of the king, the Adamas, and giveth the apology and the honor and the glory of all their seals, and the songs of praise to the region of the light. Concerning this word, then, thou hast spoken unto us after time. When thou brought thee the piece of money, and thou didst see that it was of silver and copper, and did ask, Whose is this image? They said, The king's. And when thou sawest that it was on silver and copper mixed, thou didst say, Give therefore the king's unto the king, and God's unto God, that is, if the soul receive mystery, it giveth the apology to all the rulers in the region of the king, the Adamas, and the soul giveth the honor and the glory to all those of the region of the light. And the word, it hath glistened, when thou didst see that it was made up of silver and copper. It is the type thereof, that in it the soul is the power of the light, which is the refined silver, and that in it is the counterfeiting spirit, which is the material copper. This, my lord, is the first thought. 
The second thought is on the other hand, that which thou hast said unto us concerning the soul, which receiveth the mysteries. If it cometh into the region of the rulers of the way of the midst, they come forth to meet in an exceedingly great fear, and they are afraid of it. And the soul giveth the mystery of the fear unto them, and they are afraid before it. And it giveth the destiny to its region, and it giveth the counterfeiting spirit to its own region, and it giveth the apology and the seals to every one of the rulers who are on the ways, and it giveth the honor and the glory and the laud of the seals and the songs of praise to all those of the region of the light. Concerning this word, my Lord, thou hast spoken after time through the mouth of our brother Paul. Give tax to whom tax is due. Give fear to whom fear is due. Give tribute to whom tribute is due. Give honor to whom honor is due. And give laud to whom laud is due. And owe not any other anything. That is, my Lord, the soul which receives mysteries, giveth apology to all regions. This, my Lord, is a second thought. The third thought, on the other hand, concerning the word which thou hast aforetime spoken unto us. The counterfeiting spirit is hostile to the soul, making it do all sins and all mischief. And it transferreth it in the chastisements because of all the sins which it hath made it commit. In a word, it is hostile to the soul in every way. Concerning this word, therefore, thou hast said unto us after time, The foes of the man are the dwellers in his house, that is, the dwellers in the house of the soul are the counterfeiting spirit and the destiny, which are hostile to the soul the whole time, making it commit all sin and all inequities. Lo, this, my Lord, is the third thought. The fourth thought, on the other hand, concerning the word which thou hast said, If the soul goes forth out of the body, and traveleth on the way with the counterfeiting spirit, and if it hath not found the mystery of the undoing of all the bonds and the seals which are bound to the counterfeiting spirit, so that it may cease to haunt or to be assigned to it, if it then hath not found it, the counterfeiting spirit leadeth the soul to the virgin of light, the judge, and the judge, the virgin of light, proveth the soul, and findeth that it hath sinned, and she also hath not found the mysteries of light with it. She handeth it over to one of her receivers, and her receiver leadeth it, and cast it into the body, and it cometh not out of the changes of the body, but it hath yielded its last circuit. Concerning this word, then, my Lord, thou hast said unto us after time, be reconciled with thy foe as long as thou art on way with him, lest perchance thy foe hand thee over to the judge, and the judge hand thee over to the servant, and the servant cast thee into prison, and thou shalt not come forth out of the region till thou hast yielded the last farthing. Because of this manifestly in thy word, every soul which cometh forth out of the body, and traveleth on the way with the counterfeiting spirit, and findeth not the mystery of the undoing of all the seals and all the bonds, so that it may undo itself from the counterfeiting spirit which is bound to it. That soul which hath not found mysteries of the light, and hath not found the mysteries of detachment from the counterfeiting spirit which is bound to it, if then it hath not found it, the counterfeiting spirit leadeth that soul to the virgin of light, and the virgin of light, yea, that judge, handeth over that soul to one of her receivers, and her receiver cast it into the sphere of the eons. And it cometh not out of the changes of the body, before it hath yielded the last circuit which is appointed for it. This then, my Lord, is the fourth thought. Chapter 114 It came to pass, then, when Jesus had heard Mary say these words that he said, Well said, all blessed Mary, spiritual one, these are the solution of the words which I have spoken. Mary answered and said, Still, my Lord, do I question thee? Because from now on I will begin to question thee on all things with sureness. For this cause, therefore, my Lord, be patient with us, and reveal unto us all things on which we shall question thee for the sake of the manner, how my brethren are to herald it to the whole race of men. And when she had said this to the Saviour, the Saviour answered and said unto her in the great compassion towards her, Amen, Amen, I say unto you. 
Not only will I reveal unto you all things on which ye shall question me, but from now on I will reveal unto you other things on which ye have not thought to question, which have not entered into the heart of man, and which also are all the gods who are below man know not. Now therefore, Mary, question on what thou mayest question, and I will reveal it unto thee face to face without similitude. Chapter 115 And Mary answered and said, My Lord, in what type then do the baptisms forgive sins? I heard thee say, The retributive servitors follow the soul, being witness to it for all the sins which it committeth, now that they may convict it in the judgments. Now therefore, my Lord, do the mysteries of the baptism wipe out the sins which are in the hands of the retributive servitors, so that they forget them. Now therefore, my Lord, tell unto us the type, how they forgive sins, nay, we desire to know it with sureness. And the Saviour answered and said unto Mary, Finally hast thou spoken. The servitors indeed are they who bear witness to all sins, but they abide in the judgments seizing the souls and convicting all the souls of sinners who have received no mystery, and they keep them fast in the chaos, chastising them. And those retributive receivers cannot overstep the chaos to reach to the orders which are above the chaos, and convict the souls which come forth out of those regions. Now then, it is not lawful to use force on the souls which receive mysteries, and lead them into the chaos, so that the retributive servitors may convict them. But the retributive servitors convict the souls of the sinners, and they keep fast those who have received no mysteries, which may lead them out of the chaos. The souls, on the other hand, which receive mysteries, they have no power of convicting them, because they do not come forth out of their regions, and also, if they come forth into their regions, they are not able to obstruct them, nay, they cannot lead them into the chaos. HOW THE SOUL OF THE SINNER IS STAMPED WITH HIS SINS. HEARKEN, MOREVER, THAT I MAY TELL YOU THE WORD IN TRUTH, IN WHAT TYPE THE MYSTERY OF BAPTISM FORGIVES SINS. NOW, THEREFORE, IF THE SOULS SIN WHEN THEY ARE STILL IN THE WORLD, THE RETRIBUTIVE SERVITORS INDEED COME AND ARE WITNESSES OF ALL THE SINS WHICH THE SOUL COMMITTETH, LEST IN SOOTH THEY SHOULD COME FORTH OUT OF THE REGIONS OF THE CHAOS, IN ORDER THAT THEY MAY CONVICT THEM IN THE JUDGMENTS WHICH ARE OUTSIDE THE CHAOS. And the counterfeiting spirit become witness of all the sins which the soul shall commit, in order that it may convict it in the judgments which are outside the chaos. Not only that it may bear witness of them, but all the sins of the souls, it sealeth the sins, and maketh them fast unto the soul, in order that all the rulers of the chastisements of the sinners may recognize it, that it is a sinning soul, and that they may know of the number of sins of which it is committed, by the seals which the counterfeiting spirit hath made fast unto it, so that it shall be chastised according to the number of sins which it hath committed. This do they with all sinning souls. Now therefore, he who shall receive the mysteries of the baptism, then the mystery of them become a great, exceedingly violent, wise fire, and it burneth up the sins, and enter into the soul secretly, and consumeth all the sins which the counterfeiting spirit hath made fast unto it. And when it hath finished purifying all the sins which the counterfeiting spirit hath made fast on the soul, it entereth into the body secretly, and pursueth all the pursuers secretly, and separate them off on the side and the portion of the body. For it pursueth the counterfeiting spirit, and the destiny, and separateth them off from the power and from the soul, and putteth them on the side of the body, so that it separateth off the counterfeiting spirit, and the destiny, and the power into one portion, the soul and power on the other hand, in separateth into another. The mystery of baptism, on the contrary, remaineth in the midst of the two, continually separating from one another, so that it maketh them clean and purifieth them, in order that they may not be stained by matter. Now therefore, Mary, this is the way in which the mysteries of the baptism forgive sins and all inequities. Chapter 116 When then the Saviour had said this, he said unto his disciples, Understand ye in what manner I discourse with you. Mary interpreteth the same from a former saying. 
And then Mary started forward and said, Yea, my Lord, in truth I inquire closely into all the words which thou sayest. Concerning the word, then, of the forgiveness of sins, thou hast spoken unto us in similitude after time, saying, I am come to cast fire on the earth, and again, what will I that it burn? And again, thou hast distinguished it clearly, saying, I have a baptism, to baptize in it, and how shall I endure it until it is accomplished? Think ye I am come to cast peace on the earth? Nay, but I am come to cast a vision. For from now on five will be in one house, three will be divided against two, and two against three. This, my Lord, is the word which thou hast spoken clearly. The word indeed which thou hast spoken, I am come to cast fire on the earth, and what will I that it burn? That is, my Lord, thou hast brought the mysteries of the baptism into the world, and thy pleasure is that they should consume all the sins of the soul and purify them. And thereafter again thou hast distinguished it clearly, saying, I have a baptism, to baptize in it, and how shall I endure until it is accomplished? That is, thou wilt not remain in the world until the baptisms are accomplished and purify the perfect soul. And moreover the word which thou hast spoken unto us after time, Think ye, I am come to cast peace on the earth. Nay, but I am come to cast a vision. For from now on five will be in one house, three will be divided against two, and two against three. That is, thou hast brought the mystery of the baptism into the world, and it hath effected a division in the bodies of the world. Because it hath separated the counterfeiting spirit, and the body and the destiny into one portion. The soul and the power, on the other hand, it hath separated into another portion. That is, three will be against two, and two against three. And when Mary had said this, the Savior said, Well said, thou spiritual and light pure Mary. This is the solution of the word. Chapter 117 Mary furthers questions Jesus. Mary answered again and said, My Lord, I will still continue to question thee. Now, therefore, my Lord, bear with me questioning thee. Lo, in openness have we known the type in which the baptisms forgive sins. Now, on the other hand, the mystery of these three spaces, and the mysteries of this first mystery, and the mysteries of the ineffable, in what type do they forgive sins? Do they forgive in the type the baptisms or not? The Savior answered again and said, Nay, but all the mysteries of the three spaces forgive the soul and all the regions of the rulers all the sins which the soul hath committed from the beginning onward. They forgive it, and moreover they forgive the sins which it thereafter will commit, until the time up to which every one of the mysteries shall be effective. The time up to which every one of the mysteries shall be effective I will tell you at the expansion of the universe. And moreover the mystery of the first mystery and the mysteries of the ineffable forgive the soul in all the regions, of all the rulers, all the sins, and all the inequities which the soul hath committed. And not only do they forgive it all, but they impute unto it no sin from this hour unto all eternity, because of the gift of that great mystery, and its prodigiously great glory. Chapter 118 When then the Saviour had said this, he said unto his disciples, understand ye in what manner I speak with you. And Mary answered again and said, Yea, my Lord, already have I seized on all the words which thou sayest. Now therefore, my Lord, concerning the word which thou sayest, all the mysteries of the three spaces forgive sins and cover their souls in equities. David the prophet then hath prophesied after time concerning this word, saying, Blessed are they whose sins are forgiven and whose inequities are covered and the word which thou hast spoken, the mystery of the first mystery, and the mystery of the ineffable, forgive all men who shall receive the mysteries, not only the sins which they have committed from the beginning onwards, but also they impute them not to them from this hour unto all eternity. Concerning this word David hath prophesied after time, saying, Blessed are those to whom the Lord God will not impute sins, that is, Sins will not be imputed from this hour to those who have received the mysteries of the first mystery 
and who have received the mystery of the ineffable. He said, Well said, Mary, thou spiritual and light pure Mary, this is the solution of the word. And Mary continued again and said, My Lord, if the man receiveth mysteries from the mysteries of the first mystery, and again turneth and sinneth and transgresseth, and if he there again turneth and repent and prayeth into any mystery of his mystery, will it be forgiven him or not? The Savior answered and said unto Mary, Amen, amen, I say unto you, Every one who shall receive the mysteries of the first mystery, if he again turn and transgresses twelve times, and again twelve times repenteth, praying in the mystery of the first mystery, it will be forgiven. But if after the twelve times he again transgress, and turneth and transgress, it will not be forgiven him forever, so that he should turn himself to any mystery of his mystery, and this man hath not repentant until he receive the mystery of the ineffable, which have compassion at every time, and forgive at every time. Chapter 119 Mary continued again and said, My Lord, but if on the other hand they who have received the mysteries of the first mystery turn and transgress, and if they come out of the body before they have repented, will they inherit the kingdom or not, because indeed they have received the gift of the first mystery? The Savior answered and said unto Mary, Amen, amen, I say unto you, Every man who hath received mysteries in the first mystery, having transgressed for the first and the second and the third time, and if he cometh out of the body before he hath repented, his judgment is far sorer than all judgments. For his dwelling is in the midst of the jaws of the dragon of the outer darkness, and at the end of all of this he will be frozen up in the chastisements and perish forever, because he hath received the gift of the first mystery, and hath not abided in it the gift. Mary answered and said, My Lord, all men who shall receive the mysteries of the mystery of the ineffable, and have turned again, have transgressed, and have ceased in their faith, and again thereafter, when they are still in life, have turned and have repented, how many times will it be forgiven them? The Savior answered and said unto Mary, Amen, amen, I say unto you, to every man who shall receive the mysteries of the ineffable, not only if he transgresses once, turneth again, and repenteth, will it be forgiven, but if at any time he transgress, and if, when still in life, he turneth again, and repenteth, without play-acting, and again if he turneth and repenteth, and prayeth in any of his mysteries, then will it be forgiven him, because he hath received of the gift of mysteries of the ineffable, and moreover, because these mysteries are compassionate, and forgive it every time. And Mary answered again, and said unto Jesus, My Lord, those who shall receive the mysteries of the ineffable, and have again turned, have transgressed, and have ceased in their faith, and are moreover come out of the body before they have repented, what will befall such? And the Savior answered and said unto Mary, Amen, amen, I say unto you, all men who shall receive the mysteries of the ineffable, blessed indeed are the souls which shall receive of those mysteries. But if they turn and transgress and come out of the body before they have repented, the judgment of those men is sorer than all the judgments, and it is exceedingly violent. Even if those souls are new, and it is their first time for coming into the world, they will not return to the changes of the bodies from that hour onward, and will not be able to do anything, but they will be cast out into the outer darkness and perish, and be non-existent forever. Chapter 120 And when the Saviour had said this, he said unto his disciples, Understand ye in what manner I speak with you. Mary answered and said, I have seized on the word which thou hast said. Now therefore, my Lord, this is the word which thou hast said. They who shall receive the mysteries of the ineffable, blessed indeed are those souls. But if they turn, transgress, and cease in their faith, and if they go forth out of the body with having repented, they are no more fit from this hour onward to return to the changes of the body, nor for anything at all, 
but they are cast out into the outer darkness. They will perish in that region and be non-existent forever. Concerning this word thou hast spoken unto us aforetime, saying, Salt is good, but if the salt becomes sterile, with what are they to salt it? It is neither fit for the dunghill nor for the earth, but they throw it away, that is, Blessed are all the souls which shall receive of the mysteries of the ineffable. But if they once transgress, they are not fit to return to the body henceforth from this hour onwards, nor for anything at all. But they are cast into the outer darkness and perish in that region. And when she had said this, the Saviour said, Well said, thou spiritual light, pure Mary. This is the solution of the word. And Mary continued again and said, My Lord, all men who have received the mysteries of the first mystery, and the mysteries of the ineffable, those who have not transgressed, but whose faith in the mysteries was in sincerity, without play-acting, they then have again sinned through the compulsion of the fate, and have again turned and repented, and again prayed in any of the mysteries, how often will it be forgiven them? And the Saviour answered and said unto Mary in the midst of his disciples, Amen, amen, I say unto you. All men who shall receive the mysteries of the ineffable, and moreover the mystery of the first mystery, sin every time through the compulsion of the fate, and if they, when they are still in life, turn and repent, and abide in any of their mysteries, it will be forgiven them at every time, because those mysteries are compassionate and forgiving for all time. For this cause, then, have I said unto you before, those mysteries will not only forgive them their sins, which they have committed from the beginning onward, but they do not impute them to them from this hour onward, of which I have said unto you, that they receive repentance at any time, and that they also will forgive the sins which they commit anew. If, on the other hand, those who shall receive mysteries of the mystery of the ineffable, and of the mysteries of the first mystery, turn and sin, and come out of the body without having repented, then they will be even as though who will have transgressed and not repented. Their dwelling also is in the midst of the jaws of the dragon of the outer darkness, and they will perish and be non-existent forever. For this cause have I said unto you, All men who shall receive the mysteries, if they knew the time when they come out of the body, would watch themselves and not sin, in order that they may inherit the light kingdom forever. Chapter 121 When then the Saviour had said this unto his disciples, he said unto them, Understand ye in what manner I speak with you. Mary answered and said, Yea, my Lord, with precision have I precisely followed all the words which thou hast spoken. Concerning this word, then, thou hast spoken unto us after time. If the householder knew at what hour in the night the thief cometh to break into the house, he would keep awake and not suffer the man to break into the house. When then Mary had said this, the Saviour said, Well said thou, spiritual Mary, this is the word. The Saviour continued again and said unto his disciples, Now therefore hail ye unto all men who shall receive mysteries in the light, and speak unto them, saying, Keep watch over yourselves, and sin not lest ye heap evil on evil, and go out of the body without having repented, and become strangers to the light kingdom forever. When the Saviour had said this, Mary answered and said, My Lord, great is the compassion of those mysteries which forgive sins at every time. The Saviour answered and said unto Mary in the midst of the disciples, If today a king, who is a man of the world, giveth a gift to men of his like, and also forgiveth murderers, and those who have intercourse with males, and the rest of the very grievous sins which are deserving of death. If it becometh him, who is a man of the world, to have done this, much more than have the ineffable and the first mystery, who are the lords of the universe, the authority to act in all things as it pleaseth them, that they forgive every one who shall receive mysteries. Or if, on the other hand, the king to-day invest a soldier with a royal vesture, and sendeth him into a foreign region, and he committeth murders and other grievous sins which are deserving of death, then they will not impute them to him, and are not able to do him any evil because he invested with the royal vesture. 
How much more, then, those who wear the mysteries of the vestures of the ineffable and those of the first mystery, who are lords over all those of the height and all those of the depth? Chapter 122 Thereafter Jesus saw a woman who came to make repentance. He had baptized her three times, and yet she had not done what was worthy of the baptism. And the Savior desired to try Peter, to see if he was compassionate and forgiving, as he had commanded them. He said unto Peter, Lo, three times have I baptized this soul, and yet at this third time she hath not done what is worthy of the mysteries of the light. What for, then, doth she make her body good for nothing? Now, therefore, Peter, perform the mystery which cutteth off the souls from the inheritance of the light. Perform that mystery in order that it may cut off the soul of this woman from the inheritance of the light. When then the Savior had said this, he tried Peter to see whether he was compassionate and forgiving. When then the Savior had said this, Peter said, My Lord, let her yet this time that we may give her the higher mysteries. And if she is fit, thou hast thou let her inherit the light kingdom. But if she is not fit, then hast thou cut her off from the light kingdom. When then Peter had said this, the Savior knew that Peter was compassionate as he and forgiving. When then all this was said, the Savior said unto his disciple, Have ye understood all these words and the type of this woman? Mary answered and said, My Lord, I have understood the mysteries of the things which have fallen to this woman's lot, concerning the things, then, which have fallen to her lot. Thou hast spoken unto us aforetime in similitude, saying, A man owned a fig tree in his vineyard, and he came to look for its fruit, and he found not a single one on it. He said to the vine dresser, Lo, three years do I come to look for fruit on this fig tree, and I have not any produce at all from it. Cut it down, then. Why doth it make the ground also good for nothing? But he answered and said unto him, My Lord, have patience with it still this year, until I dig around it and give it dung. And if it beareth it another year, thou hast let it. But if thou dost not find any fruit at all, then hast thou cut it down. Lo, my Lord, this is the solution of the word. The Savior answered and said unto Mary, well said, spiritual one, this is the solution of the word. Chapter 123 Mary continued again, and said unto the Saviour, My Lord, a man who hath received mysteries, and hath not done what is worthy of them, but he hath turned and hath sinned. Therefore he hath again repented, and hath been in great repentance. Is it then lawful for my brethren to renew for him the mystery which he hath received, or rather give him a mystery out of the lower mysteries. Is it lawful or not? The Savior answered and said unto Mary, Amen, amen, I say unto you. Neither the mystery which he hath received, nor the lower hearken unto him to forgive his sins. But it is the mysteries which are higher than those which he hath received, which hearken unto him and forgive his sins. Now therefore, Mary, let thy brethren give him the mystery which is higher than that which he hath received, and they are to accept his repentance from him and forgive his sins, the latter indeed, because he hath received it once more, and the former, because he hath towered over him the lower mysteries upward. The latter indeed hearkened not unto him to forgive the sins, but it is the mystery which is higher than that which he has received that forgiveth his sins. But if, on the other hand, he hath received the three mysteries in the two spaces, or in the third from within, and he hath turned and transgressed, no mystery hearketh unto him to help him in his repentance, neither the higher nor the lower, save the mystery of the first mystery and the mysteries of the ineffable. It is they which hearken unto him and accept his repentance from him. Mary answered and said, My Lord, a man who hath received mysteries up to two or three in the second or third space, and he hath not transgressed, but is still in his faith and uprightness and without play acting, what will befall him? And the Saviour answered and said unto Mary, Every man who hath received mysteries in the second and in the third space, and hath not transgressed, but is still in his faith without play acting, it is lawful for such a one to receive mysteries in the space which pleases him, from the first to the last, 
because they have not transgressed. Chapter 124 Mary continued again and said, My Lord, a man who hath known the Godhead, and hath received of the mysteries of the light, and hath turned and transgressed and done lawlessly, and hath not turned to repent, and a man, on the other hand, who hath not found the Godhead, nor known it, and that man is a sinner, and moreover impious, and they both have come out of the body, which of them will get more suffering in the judgments? The Savior answered again, and said unto Mary, Amen, amen, I say unto you, The man who hath known the Godhead, and hath received the mysteries of the light, and sinned, and hath not turned to repent, he will get suffering in the chastisement of the judgments, in great suffering, and judgments exceedingly far more in comparison with the impious and law-breaking man, who hath not known the Godhead. Now therefore, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. When then the Saviour had said this, Mary started forward and said, My Lord, my light man hath ears, and I have understood the whole word which thou hast spoken. Concerning this word, then, thou hast spoken unto us in the similitude. The slave, who knew the will of his Lord, and made not ready, nor did the will of his Lord, will receive great blows. But he who knew not and did not will be deserving of less. For from every one to whom more is entrusted, of him will be more demanded. And to whom much is handed over, of him much is required. That is, my Lord, he who knew the Godhead, and hath found the mysteries of the light, and hath transgressed, will be chastised in a far greater chastisement than he who hath not known the Godhead. This, my Lord, is the solution of the word. Chapter 125 Mary continueth again, and said unto the Saviour, My Lord, if the faith and the mystery shall have revealed themselves now, therefore, if souls come into the world in many circuits, and are neglectful of receiving mysteries, hoping that if they come into the world at any other circuit, they will receive them, will they not then be in danger of not succeeding in receiving the mysteries? The Savior answered and said unto his disciples, Herald unto the whole world, and say unto men, Strive thereafter that ye may receive the mysteries of the light in this time of affliction, and enter into the light kingdom. Join not one day to another, or one circuit to another, hoping that ye may succeed in receiving the mysteries, if ye come into the world in another circuit. And these know not when the number of the perfect souls will be at hand. For if the number of the perfect souls shall be at hand, I will now shut the gates of the light, and no one from this hour onward will enter in. Nor will any one hereafter go forth, for the number of the perfect souls is completed, and the mystery of the first mystery is completed for the sake of which the universe hath arisen, that is, I am that mystery. And from this hour onward no one will be able to enter into the light, and no one be able to go forth. For at the completion of the time of the number of the perfect souls, before I have set fire to the world, in order that it may purify the eons, and the veils, and the firmaments, and the whole earth, and also all the matter which are on it, mankind will be still existing. At that time, then, the faith will reveal itself still more, and the mystery in those days. And many souls will come by means of circuits of the changes of the body, and coming back into the world are some of those in this present time who have hearkened unto me, how I taught, who at the completion of the number of the perfect souls will find the mysteries of the light, and receive them, and come to the gates of the light, and find that the number of the perfect souls is complete, which is the completion of the first mystery, and the gnosis of the universe. And they will find that I have shut the gates of the light, and that it is impossible that any one should enter in, or that any one should go forth from this hour. Those souls, then, will knock at the gates of the light, saying, Lord, open unto us. And I will answer unto them, I know you not whence ye are. And they will say unto me, we have received of thy mysteries, and fulfilled the whole teaching, and thou hast taught us on the high ways. And I will answer and say unto them, I know you not who ye are, ye who are doers of inequity, and of evil even unto now. Wherefore go into the outer darkness, and from that hour they will go into the outer darkness, 
there where there is howling and grinding of teeth. For this cause, then, herald unto the whole world, and say unto them, Strive thereafter to renounce the whole world and the whole matter therein, that ye may receive the mysteries of the light before the number of the perfect souls is completed, in order that they may not make you stop before the gates of the light and lead you away into the utter darkness. Now, therefore, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. When then the Saviour had said this, Mary started forward again and said, My Lord, not only hath my light man ears, but my soul hath heard and understand all the words which thou sayest. Now, therefore, my Lord, concerning the words which thou hast spoken, herald unto the men of the world, and say unto them, Strive thereafter to receive the mysteries of the light in this time of affliction, that ye may know and inherit the light kingdom. A considerable lacuna here occurs in the text. End of Book 3